I'm Nancy Campbell. I'm the Executive Director of the Wayne Arts Center, and I'd like to welcome all of you here today to the opening of our annual Student Works Exhibition. This year, we have 236 works represented in the gallery, featuring a wide range of media, including drawing, painting, sculpture, ceramics, stained glass, jewelry, and many more mediums uh, that are represented. This year's juror is Claudia Rilling. Claudia is a relatively new faculty member here at the Wayne Art Center and she teaches painting classes and as well as drawing and uh, she has juried uh, 19 awards that will be presented tonight um, at the opening. The Wayne Art Center offers over 500 classes each year to an enrollment of over 5,000 students. We have students that are just brand new, just trying art for the first time, and we have students that have been practicing here for the past 20 years. This is one of our favorite exhibitions because it really focuses on our student base and recognizes the talented students that we have here and also recognizes our dedicated faculty that work so closely with the students throughout the year. I actually have levels to my classes. Um, I have some classes that are designated beginner to intermediate. Those classes are what I call lesson bound. So therefore I do uh, have le real time lessons in these classes. Every class starts with a lesson and they are usually cumulative. So they build upon one another. So if you took a drawing class from me, you would learn the rudiments of composition. If you took a painting class from me, you would learn, again, something about comp uh, composition, but also what color means as a tool for us to use. Then, as you progressed on, you would move into the uh, intermediate to advanced classes. Those classes, I have tried to also include what I call presentations. Presentations uh, can be, there's usually, they're thematic. They go for a season. For example, right now we're in the summer and I'm doing what I call a treasure hunt, which is a, uh, uh, I've cited different spots in our area that they might want to visit, that they should know about, that artists should be connected to. For example, the uh, Wharton Escherich Museum, which some never knew of, of him or who he was or where it was. Uh, so some of the, some are, are a little bit more obscure. Some of them are a little bit more well known, but in that case, I'll point out some of the jewels that might be in the collection. And uh, that's the kind of thing that we would do in the advanced class, along with critiquing, time to work, and uh, just another you know, another ear, another voice, another pair of eyes to look at the work and say, you know, am I going in the right direction? Do you, let, do you see anything that I should be aware of, et cetera, et cetera. For those of your listeners that haven't been to the Art Center, they're really missing uh, a great place uh, for people where they come together. And there's 35,000 square feet under roof. Uh, I think our oldest uh, is uh, under 107, I believe, and our youngest is under two. So there's a lot of difference in classes for everybody. So having said that, uh, the, you ask about this painting. Uh, I call this uh, Vienna Morning, and uh, actually the reason I do, uh, I was looking at some of Klimt's work, 
and uh, those people that are familiar with Cliff are going to recognize some of the stuff that I picked up from him. And uh, so it's really just strictly oil. Uh, what I've tried to do is, with his style, is to pick up uh, uh, small, almost pointillism. Uh, um, well, I think I started in about 2005 with watercolor. And then in about 2008, I uh, tried pastel with Teresa de Sev. And Teresa de Sev is such a wonderful person and, and a very uh, generous, giving instructor. Uh, I really liked the atmosphere of her classes and I stuck with pastel. This is my youngest child and she loves to pose. She's beautiful and I love to do portraits. So I asked her to pose at the magic hour. It was an afternoon in the fall and she had a beautiful dress that in fact I bought just for this um, portrait. And I asked her to pose in the grass and I took many photos and I already knew that this, the title of the work was going to be Still in the Nest, which is, she is my youngest child and she's still home and my other two older children are, are now in college. And I am uh, savoring every moment of my daughter's uh, time still at home. Well, for me as an instructor, uh, one of my students did take a prize, so that makes me look good in the eyes of the administration. You know, I get extra brownie points for that. And, uh, and it's just fun to, to, to see their reactions and stuff, and it also kind of pushes them a little more uh, in class, and um, just the fact that they're doing that. Uh, a couple of years ago, one of my students got into craft form which is an international show that the Wayne Art Center hosts uh, once a year, and that'll be uh, December. So I'm hoping a couple of my other students will apply to that. So it's always nice to see uh, where they end up. Uh, also, I have students I taught at UArts that are now teachers that have their own uh, little shops and stuff. So it's, uh, it's kind of fun you know, to keep that tradition going. So uh, we want to thank all of you for uh, your uh, wonderful talent and efforts this past year, and also to all of our faculty who have uh, guided you uh, through the training process. We have, a, we have a wonderful faculty. I mean, the, the best. And I just want them all to know that. Okay. How much I, I just really respect you. And we're, we're really a one happy family. And I'm, just so glad to have them all part of the Art Center. Really, and I'd like to recognize Karen Louise Bay, who has diligently worked to uh, lay out uh, this entire exhibition, which is no small feat, and also to Niels, who's not here this evening, but Niels installed it all, so it's a big job. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, very good job. Very, very heartfelt congratulations to all of you who have the benefit of being here and the joy of being a part of our, an artistic community and also seeing your efforts, which are so beautiful. So congratulations. Thank you to the Wayne Art Center for asking me to jury the show. Um, I've actually never officially juried a show, but I've been the subject of jurying many times. Uh, over, over the years, after studying classical drawing and painting since I was a teenager, um, going through school myself and exhibiting my work professionally, I have come to evaluate work by certain um, objective standards. So I'd look for things like good composition, um, pieces that are beautifully drawn, um, pieces that reflect a, an understanding of good color balance, value control, sensitivity to the medium, um, and also um, work that brings in a unique perspective. When it came to evaluating the three-dimensional work, I also thought, I thought about those same kinds of things that I did for the 2D work, 
but then also how that piece um, read in, in space, that it could be um, seen well from multiple viewpoints and um, that it um, had some originality and also beautiful craftsmanship. Um, so without further ado, I think I'll just get started on presenting the awards. Okay, we're gonna start with the honorable um, mention category. The first person um, is Jerry uh, Trethaway uh, for The Vineyard, which was done in watercolor. David Rosak for The Node, which is done in ceramic. Paula Sarvin-Vincer for Love is All You Need, which was done in acrylic. Diane Lavelle for Getting Ready, which was done in oil. Michael Lacabucci for Blue Sky, which was done in oil. Susan um, Campbell for Red Number no. 2, which was done in watercolor. Elizabeth Dougherty for Transposed, which was done on um, limestone. And Janice Balson for Georgetown Art District. And now for the Wayne Art Center um, Student Awards. Um, we have Maxine Rosen for The Garden Party, Ceramic. Doris Peltzman for Parisian Bouquet, which was done in oil. Jonathan Mole for White Knight, which was done in oil. Joanne McLean for Du Pua and Moon Pa in oil. Amy Kavash for Queen Bee in the Honeycomb. Uh, it was a bracelet and pin um, done in silver and gold jewelry. Heidi Hendrickson for On the Lake, which was done in oil. John Helgenberg for Now Playing, which was a stainless George Elser for Promethean, which is a collage. Louise Adusen Bear uh, for Fritz Lumber Closes, which is a hot Best in show goes to Barbara Berry for 